Alright guys, I had to turn the music off real quick. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit, help me. Beyond our fears. Beyond our fears, God has great promises for you and I. And honestly, I would say that right now, I am a walking, living testimony of this. Um, I can't really go in detail of the testimony, not just yet, but I would say it took me stepping out of my comfort zone in order to allow what God wanted to bring I would say into this, my life. Sometimes our fears, guys, they, they can be so overwhelming that honestly, we, we doubt. We doubt God's promises. We doubt God's word. We we, we we doubt the prophecies that were spoken over us. We just walk in doubt. We doubt that God is going but to the thing is, guys, deliver. We must stay open. We must stay open to all the beauty and possibilities of God. Because God will deliver. But it's going to take our faith and our openness for us to honestly receive. God said, without faith, faith, it is impossible to please him. He said, we must walk by faith and not by It's important sight. as we move forward to seek God. God will give deeper. you the peace and clarity you need moving forward. The peace and clarity that we need moving forward. Okay, quickly, I want to say this one point before I dive into these scriptures. Listen. Nothing, absolutely nothing is going to be picture perfect. And if we are waiting for something to look perfect, be packaged perfect, and to be placed before us in this perfect, our perfect perspective and viewpoint of how it should look, then honestly... We're going to miss that blessing that God set before us. I know I said it before in one of my videos in another type of way, but God has laid that on me to say it again. Nothing is going to be picture perfect that God sets before you. But the thing is, God knows what's very best for us. God knows who is very best for us. And he's going to place the things in front of us in our path that is perfect for our divine journey here on earth. So stop looking at the surface, guys. We got to stop looking at the surface. Oh, I want her to have, you know, just, just, these are just the examples, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I want her to have the big butts and the big boobs. Oh, she got to have like long glory. Oh, he had to be 6'2", six, six with muscles and a six pack. Oh, he ain't my divine husband. And we're missing beautiful blessings that God placed before us because our perspective it's culture-based. We're missing it because we want the outside, hallelujah, Jesus, to look some certain type of way when God looks within. And we wonder why we fall into relationships, hallelujah, Jesus, that, that, that promotes domestic violence, toxicity, materialistic shallow because we're only looking at the at the outward surface and we're not hallelujah jesus checking on certain qualities and principles and standards and morals that that person should have because they look like a shiny diamond to us so, so guys we we gotta go deeper we gotta seek deeper we have to mature we gotta want more out of life than what this world is telling us what a relationship, a marriage should be about. They are off. They are off. Why do you think the divorce rate is so high? They are so off. Your hallelujah, Jesus, as a child of God, our instructions are in here.
when it comes to everything pertaining to life and godliness. And if that person is not standing firm on the word, and if that person is not submitted and had their own personal relationship with God, and they're dying daily to the principles and standards of Jesus Christ, and allowing the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Jesus, to lead and guide them throughout their daily life, then you really need to take a second look. Yes, granted, I, I, I do believe that, that, that God will place before us something that's, that's, that's gentle on our eyes, I would say. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But it can't always be about looks. Because you're going to overlook your God divine spouse. You're going to overlook the job, the career. You're going to overlook things because you're looking with a lens of the world's. I gotta go but listen God, God has a divine plan for us to have a full fulfilled satisfied life a full fulfilled satisfied life in anything that he had he adds it is for his own good for one and anything that he adds is to complement our life and our journey and our purpose and our mandate here on earth. So if it's not complementing your life, check it. If it's only creating chaos, despair, if there's not no inner peace, and if there's, there's not no God pull towards it, check it. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late for, <laughs> I'm gonna be late for um, guitar class. Listen, trust God's timing. Do not step beyond God's timing. Yes, God gives us free will. God gives us choice. I know it. I know it. But we must trust God's timing and God's will for our life. Right? So, so okay. continue to build a strong, a strong foundation in Christ. Because God, he, he wants to lead us into a land full of milk and honey, guys. A land overflowing with his blessings and favors. And that comes with submission. That comes with obedience. And, 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 and one last a point of encouragement, I would say. When, when God delivers you a gift, when God gives you something, someone, or whatever it is that you're praying for. Give it time. Don't rush it. Give it time to Get some roots. Let it root. <laughs> Let it root. It takes time to root. All right, so don't get frustrated. Don't think that this is not the blessing because it's not moving on your timeline. God's timeline is not like ours. He may speed it up. <laughs> he may slow it down. But you must trust that God knows what's best for, the, for, for you, okay? So... Last thing, give it time to take root. You want your foundation in whatever it is to be built upon Christ. I gotta go.